Here are some beautiful fish species for your aquarium. From the mesmerizing clown triggerfish to the almost cartoon-looking Picasso triggerfish, these are the 10 most beautiful aquarium fishes in the world that will make you keep some of these as pets. Let's begin. Number 10, Lionfish. You can also call them dragonfish, scorpionfish, or tigerfish. By the way, they are native to the Pacific Ocean and are actually considered invasive in North America. It is all because they eliminate native species and don't have any natural predators. In fact, they are known to reproduce quickly as they release up to 30,000 eggs every week. People love to add them in their aquariums because they can easily adapt to new environments. Lionfish have the most striped bodies that make them look beautiful and their bodies are arranged in a zebra-like pattern that can be found up to 2 to 16 inches long. Number 9. French Angelfish You can find this beautiful fish in the shallow reefs of the Bahamas, Florida, and the Caribbean. It has vertical stripes running down its body and looks quite different as a juvenile. There's an interesting thing to know that when they mature, their stripes disappear and leave a deep gray-black colored body with flakes of yellow. They are often found in pairs in the wild. However, in the aquarium, you can only keep one angelfish per tank because they need a large tank as they require plenty of swimming space. As they become territorial, therefore, they will need plenty of hiding places in the tank using rock work. This French angelfish should always be the last addition to an aquarium tank, so it hasn't already claimed its territory. Number 8. Regal Tang This regal tang fish got all the popularity from the film Finding Nemo, in which there's a character Dory which is exactly a cartoon version of the regal blue tang, which is also known as the palette surgeon fish or you can call it Common Surgeon, Hippo Tang, or Pacific Blue Tang. With a bright blue color, their bodies have an oval shape that comes with a yellow tail and pectoral fins. The adult ones do have a dark blue line over their bodies that runs across their dorsal fin and the curves at the back of their tail. In fact, this fish, which was propelled into popularity, gets mature, their color changes with time, and their body becomes bluer. And just like juveniles, they come with bright yellow color with blue spots near their eyes and light blue at fin tips. Number 7. Moorish Idol This beautiful fish is also called the pin-up poster fish of coral reefs and is found in almost every underwater photographer's portfolio. The Moorish Idol is native to the coral reefs of the Indo-Pacific Ocean and have large, thick vertical stripes in contrasting black and white, and also have a sunlight yellow patch that goes towards the back of their body. Their long snouts with a vibrant yellowy-orange mask running across make them look more attractive, and because of their long, extravagant filament which trails out from the tip of the dorsal fin makes them look astonishing among others. Did you know? that they closely resemble butterfly fish, but they don't belong to the same family, despite having similar feeding habits. Number 6. Picasso Triggerfish Are you familiar with the Humu Humu Triggerfish? If yes, congrats! You'll be happy to know that it has another name for Picasso Triggerfish. This beautiful fish has a wacky, vibrant, painted appearance that can easily grab your attention and with its tan-colored body and blue-black stripes, it does look almost like a cartoon character. They are native to the Indo-Pacific Ocean, and in the aquarium, they are such an outgoing species and can easily learn to recognize their beloved owner. But never put a trigger fish with other trigger fish because they are aggressive and should be kept with other large fish or similar size fish that should be around 10 inches in the tank. Number 5. Regal Angelfish All the angelfish have a beautiful, elegant look to other fish. But if you talk about the regal angelfish, then you better know that it's one of the most beautiful ones among the angelfish family. On the other hand, it is also known as one of the most difficult to keep in an aquarium. Because they grow to around 10 inches in length, obviously, it means they require a huge tank 
which is suitable to contain a minimum of 100 gallons, with plenty of hiding spots as well. But if you talk about their life in the wild, regal angelfishes prefer those areas that are naturally rich in coral reefs. Before adding them to your main aquarium tank, regal angelfishes should always be quarantined for a few weeks because they can find it difficult to adapt to life in captivity aquariums, and instead of them, smaller juveniles usually adapt better. Number 4. Juvenile Emperor Angelfish This fish is a feast to the eyes and considered one of the most beautiful fish in the world, and why not? With a black body and light blue to white vertical lines on their face, along three curved white bands on their body and in between thinner light blue curves, this elegant beauty deserves to be considered that. They look very different in appearance when they get mature and become adults. Their coloring and skin pattern gets completely changed to an extent that they were once thought to be three different species at three different stages of their life up until 1933. Adults do have some attractive and eye-catchy yellow and blue stripes that stretch horizontally across their body. These stunning juvenile emperor angelfish reach lengths of up to 15 inches, although in captivity they usually grow up to around 12 inches. Number 3. Clown Triggerfish This fish is very easy to recognize as their lower half of their body is dark blue with white, large spots, and their upper half body comes with yellow skin and black dots all over it. This striking species of fish has a yellow or white stripe across their face with a yellow snout. Just like juveniles, they are also often reclusive, but with time, when they get mature, they become a bit more territorial. Don't ever keep them with any other semi-aggressive species, but you can keep them with other large fish. They require a large tank that can easily contain 120 gallons of water, so they can easily swim in their space and can hide when needed. Clown triggerfish in the tank are often compared with dogs in the house and are considered equal as pets. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. Do you know? This spectacular looking fish is known as the Madarish fish, the most beautiful in the ocean. It is native to the tropical waters of southwestern Pacific Ocean down to 18 meters deep. It belongs to the Dragonet family, which lives in sheltered lagoons and inshore reefs. Since it doesn't have scales, it is covered in tiny spikes that can inject toxic mucus and unpleasant smell, and their significant vibrant colors signal other animals to stay away who try to handle them as this fish is dangerous to consume. Because of their vibrant colors, these fishes are commonly collected for an aquarium trade, but are difficult to keep in captivity due to their specific feeding habits. If you really love them and can give them the care and attention they need, then go for it. It's worth a try. Number 1. Threadfin Butterfly Fish Well, some people like to call it Auriga Butterfly Fish, and did you know? that it is considered the centerpiece in many home aquariums because of its beautifully bold personality that complements its bold colors. It basically reaches lengths of nine inches and has a calm demeanor. That's why it's known as one of the most photographed underwater fish. By the way, their body has a pearly white pattern which blends into a bright yellow color towards the tail end and up to its dorsal fins. One of the most beautiful features of this fish is that it also has diagonal black with perpendicular lines. These lines help to create a chevron-like pattern on their body, and these fish require large tanks that can contain a minimum of 100 gallons of water. It is one of those fish that can easily adapt well to aquarium life. Thanks for watching! That's all for today's video. So, which one have you selected for your home aquarium? Let us know by commenting down below. 
And if you guys found it interesting, I would very much appreciate it if you left a thumbs up. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon for getting updates related to our latest videos.